I got new stuff and I'm so excited because I got a new couch as I've told you last week which is this one and it's from the it's someone that just threw it out and I picked it up and since then I've got some exciting news because as far as the bed go and uh, the bed the couch goes I also have a whole new bed frame and a whole new mattress and yeah so I'm complimenting this today I went shopping and I got some new stuff I was supposed to get a chair for my desk right there I was supposed to get a chair for this but I don't I ordered one from Amazon and just big big fail excuse the cat noises okay where do we start I'm so excited about this so I think I'm gonna open this first which shouldn't be a big surprise because I chose them myself as you would probably know I have a coffee machine I have the Keurig one and I got new coffee because I just ran out of mine so this is the four new flavors that we're trying I have no idea how they taste I am very very curious so what we have in here this is okay we have with so excited oh my god okay we have a chai latte that's more for my boyfriend because he likes he's not a big big fan of coffee uh, but chai lattes he likes so chai latte we have a medium roast coffee from Green Mountain, which is it doesn't show it on there, but uh, the Nantucket Green Mountain Nantucket blend. I think it's Ara Arabica coffee. Why are you meowing? Yeah, why are you meowing? I think it's more of a um, like nuts flavored. Uh, it's my favorites. Um, again, from Green Mountain Island Cocoa Light Roast. I don't remember why. I think it's more of a summer flavor that I wanted to try. And I feel like, oh my god. I'm gonna be playing against the lighting today, I think. But I will. And finally, Caramel Drizzle from Folgers. I stupidly love caramel coffee and nut flavored coffee I don't know why I've just figured out that's the ones I've liked so yeah if you want to see this is all the flavors I get it I got next uh, yeah got some drinks just because I wanted drinks tried this flavor recently I really really enjoy it and just if you don't know I have a sphinx cat and she really really loves her um it's kind of a like dog bed but like very deep I could always call it like her nook and I've wanted this for a long time and I finally found one at a reasonable price so it's a heated blanket this is a king size bed I have a queen size bed with a king bed frame if you want to know. Uh, why? Just because I wanted the ledge on the side and it's a 6 inch base. Um, 50 bucks for the whole thing. It's green, grey, black and white. Oh. So this is the heated blanket. I'm gonna open it completely and plug it in for her just to, so that she can try and see how hot this gets and stuff. I'm so excited about the new things. That's my coat. Um, yeah, so keeping with the theme of the bed, I got some new um, fitted sheet for the, the bed. New mattress, so. Kind of khaki green. It's 
kind of picking up right on camera, which is very surprising, but yeah. It's kind of a sage green color for queen bed frame. So that's the other thing. Um, this one was 25, if you're wondering. And the big blanket was 50. And coffee, I mean coffee is coffee, you can, you can look it up. And last, the last two things I have in here are new mugs. I have talked about it before that I wanted new mugs. I can't remember what video. So we got a little B one like this. It's so pretty and so cute. So we got a B with blue and white on it. It's very adorable. It's a big mug also, like very, very deep. So this one was six dollars. And the other one is for me. I'm so excited because they fit together, which is super fun. Super fun. Um if you don't know, I have glasses of Winnie the Pooh because I just love Winnie the Pooh. Uh this one was ten dollars. So you know, I'll just take off the price if I can. I won't be able to, but yeah, so it's like this. Some paths are destined to cross with the little poo bear, and it's like blue on the inside with a honey, honey jar with honeybees. It's completely blue. It's a good size too, so I'm very excited. It's very cute. I'm very liking this. So you have uh, this. It fits so cool, so well together. I'm very excited. It's very, very cool. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go put this back where it belongs. Go put these away, and then I wanna try the to open the heated blanket and see how how Margo likes it. Just gonna go put the coffee stuff away. I'm so cool, so excited. Oh my god. Yay. They're pretty. Okay. So if you don't know, this is little Margot. She's not little anymore and it's very sad, but yeah. She likes it already. <laughs> okay, let's open it. You wanna know what's inside? It's a big blankie. Hey, it's a big blinky. Yeah. But it's more than just a big blinky. It's a big hot blinky. Oh, this is comfy. Do you want to? Yeah. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Happy, happy sniff. Hi, all. I want to say, hello MTV, welcome to my crib, like so bad, but like, hi. It's kind of my unofficial apartment tour. It's, yeah, what my apartment currently looks like and how I think it's going to be for a long time. So yeah, um, please don't mind what's on the counters. I do live here, so there's gonna be things. It's more realistic than just putting everything away just to film this, so. Welcome to my front door. Next to the front door, if you've never seen my apartment before, is the kitchen. So, this is what the kitchen looks like. And yeah, and then next to the kitchen is where we're gonna go next. As you go through the kitchen, there's the table, obviously. This is just temporary. Is there whatever so this is the kitchen and right here you have the cat tree with the litter box and the cat food so this is like the little cat nook like this 
Uh, don't worry, the plant doesn't stay there, that's for sure. <laughs> It'd be a little bit silly to leave the plant there. It's just so it has sun right now. If you keep it that way, I'm kind of doing a 360 right now, but yeah, you have, that's recycling, no doubt, but table, sorry, temporary setup. <laughs> and you have the couch that I've been talking about with the windows and everything. Eventually, I'm going to have a gaming chair there. I work from home, so that's what my setup is. I mean, it's a desk and a computer, but yeah. Oh, I feel like so weird saying this. That's where I work from, next to the window. And we have, this is the blanket I was setting up yesterday. And it's kind of hot. It's very cozy. It's very fluffy. Definitely. Yeah. I'm filming on my phone right now. So, sorry for the quality. But where is she? She's been so, so, so happy. And she's been doing and feeling a lot better since I set up the blanket. I think... The heat is very, very much helping her, so. Yeah, um, next to my desk area is the water fountain. That's always been there. And the hammock has been temporarily put there. Temporarily, kind of permanently, but it fits there. There's nothing I do with this spot anyway. And when I turn the projector this way, like, I put the box there. Turn it this way so it projects there. You can be in the hammock and still watch the TV and it looks very beautiful. So that's what it looks like. And then as you go here, I have a closet, a bathroom. It, there's literally, there's nothing cool in there. So I have an empty apartment tour that I'm going to link up there if you want to see what it looks like. But yeah, then when you turn, this is the bed area. And I am so sorry for the bad quality, but um, yeah, this is because cats sleep there all the time. And this is the bath frame I was talking about with the blankets and everything. And that's what the green looks like. It's very cool. And yeah, I have the little ledge there that I was talking about with a queer bath frame. A uh, queen mattress and king bed frame and yeah i have the closet there and then you go back to the, the entryway so little 360 you have this like this and yeah that's what it looks like i'm very very happy with what my apartment looks right now i yeah it's, I think, the first time since I've been in Montreal, like, two years. I've been in Montreal for two years, and I've gone from, it's my second apartment to my name, but it's my third place I've been to, and it's the first time that I can finally feel good in my space, and I, I feel like my space is kind of complete. Of course, there's some decor details and stuff that haven't been added that things might change. I mean, we evolve as person with our space, so yeah. And I'm just, I'm very happy with what it looks like. And it actually feels like an apartment, or home at least, so.